Hi, my name is Greg Woolley, and today we have Michael Schmeider here, Director of Codes, Standards, and Research with the Gypsum Association, to answer the latest FAQ that just came in at our info at gypsum.org. Michael, here's the question. The standard practice is to mount gypsum panel products such that a quarter-inch gap exists between the board and the floor. Does this mean fire-rated wall assembly needs to be cocked between the board and the floor? Thanks, Greg. That's a really good question. And the answer is more often than not, yes. The first thing people have to remember is these aren't just fire resistive barriers, they're also smoke barriers. And the best way to stop smoke is to fill gaps. However, we get further guidance on this from section 715 of the International Building Code, which states that for fire resistive assemblies between floors and walls, walls and ceilings, etc., you have to have a fire rated joint such that fire will not get through for the same amount of time as that wall is rated for. There are, however, several exceptions, nine of them in fact. Those are floors within a single dwelling unit, floors where the joint is protected by a shaft enclosure in accordance to section 713 of the code, floors within atriums where the space adjacent to the atrium is included in the volume of the atrium for smoke control purposes, floors within malls, floors and ramps within open and enclosed parking garages or structures constructed in accordance with sections 406.5 and 406.6, mezzanine floors, walls that are permitted to have unprotected openings, roofs where openings are permitted, and finally, control joints not exceeding a maximum width of 5 eighths of an inch tested in accordance with ASTM E119 or UL263. In addition to this, the void where curtain walls come into contact with a floor ceiling assembly also have their own specific requirements set forth in the code. More information on this is available, of course, on our website, www.gypsum.org. And thank you, Michael. If you have any further questions about this topic or any topics related to gypsum panel products, do not hesitate to email us at info at gypsum.org. Thank you. Thank you.